As you say.
So this is the world of mortals. How very dull it seems. So immutable and unchanging. Yet, I am here. I have crossed the veil. Ah, it seems I was not the only one to be drawn here. How very tiresome. Shall I use smaller words? I had no idea I could enter the mortal world this way. Soon I will be queen as this world deserves. For what it is worth, thank you. I have fulfilled my vow. May the victims of that woman's madness rest in peace, wherever they have gone to now. It seems I cannot return to the Fade. I am trapped here, in the body of this Grey Warden. There are memories within this poor man's mind. They are they're difficult to see. But... He was a Grey Warden? He was slain by the Darkspawn, the one called the First? And that was your pursuit when you were tricked into the Fade. Yes, I understand now. It seems I am at a loss. What shall I do, mortal? You seem to be a creature of good character, and you are of this world. Can you advise me? You mean continue this mortal's mission as a Grey Warden? It was a Darkspawn who murdered this mortal most ignobly. And the ones that commanded it yet live to avenge his death. Yes, very well. I will join you, Grey Warden, if you will allow it. That is not my name. If I am to need a name, then use that. I am Justice.
Now that you have a physical body, what do you plan to do with it? Serve justice, as I always have. I know what I'd do if I suddenly became a complete man. You're alluding to something. I know not what. You can't be that stupid. We have work to do. As you say. begun. It shall be done. news I hope tell the mother the first it is dead the gray wardens are gone from the marsh wicked wicked wardens they killed the first killed him Cut out the mother's heart <laughs> but was it not the mother who wished him dead Thank the Maker you arrived. Things are getting out of hand. The Darkspawn are everywhere. You can see them from the city walls. But the Commander will spare no soldiers for our protection. I fear this must be the work of the conspiracy against you and the Wardens. If the common folk just rose up on their own, I'll eat my food. Maybe you can say a few words. Calm them down. Make them see reason. Barrel, you don't coddle a revolt. You put it down. Just give me the order. We will not be... Let the commander speak. We must take the keep, to be safe. Quiet! How dare you! The commander speaks sense. I'm going home. Wait! Truly well done. That was, well, inspirational. I don't know how you did that. Men? Stand down. Before this mess began, some nobles were awaiting an audience with you. I'll be in the keep. Why do spirits seek out mages? I've always wondered. You speak of demons. Van Esmeral, the commander. What was this urgent matter? 
I am here about the good Arl. The good Arl you killed. You're still loyal to Arl, how? Rendon was good to us. Good to me. And now his death will finally be avenged. First a riot, now this. Blast it. Beryl's been hit. It looks glancing. He'll live. Beryl's a veteran of many campaigns. Andraste's blood, that's... That's Ban Esmeral. She was a fool to attack you. I'll have trusted men clean this up. We can keep this quiet for a while. There's enough cause for panic already, Commander. I shall do it. As you say. Need something pummeled. So yes. I return what to the do you do with a drunken sailor? Is it even possible? It has begun. You know, I'm actually not the first How to be a Grey Warden. Following in my grandfather's footsteps, more like. His name was Padrick How. He joined the Order before it returned to Ferelden just after the war. Never contacted his family again. Just vanished. Now that I know about the joining, I think he died. I know that now. Father always said he was a horrible man for abandoning the family to join a pointless cause. I grew up ashamed of my grandfather. But now I see his bravery. That will take some getting used to. My father often forgot that nobility has another meaning. You know my grandfather had a bow passed down from his grandfather. I wonder if it's still around. At any rate, we should probably get back to it. So what would you do if you didn't have to be a Grey Warden? Really? <laughs> Once you drink the blood, it's all downhill, eh? I've never liked the idea of being trapped somewhere, to be honest. It reminds me of the Circle. After my seventh escape attempt, you'd think they'd have given me credit for trying. I got really good at escaping the Tower. Just never good at staying escaped. Until now, I suppose. The only thing I ever missed about the circle was that cat, to be honest. So I do. How are you doing in there, Sir Bounce a lot? Ha! <laughs> You'll be a fine mouser yet. Can cats be Grey Wardens? Hmm.
I am touched. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that. This is nice. It'll do, sure. It'll do, sure. You have my sincere thanks. This world is nothing like I thought it would be. The demons lust to cross the veil, but the rest of us scoff. We pity mortals, we do not envy them. The spirits consider mortals beyond their reach and beyond help. We are wrong about this world, there is beauty here, and the mortals, they are worth saving. You helped me in the Fade, and have proven yourself since. It is not right to judge all mortals the same. I wonder, may I make a request? There is something in this world you call Lyrium. Might you find me an object made from it? I desire only the smallest bit of pure rock. The version of Lyrium that mortals dream of in the Fade, it is not the same. The sound is something only a spirit could hear. But it summons an ache I didn't know I had. Thank you. The demons lust to cross the veil, but you help me in the fade. There is something in this world you call the sound is so. surface less than two years. I don't know what's up here. That Jacob's gonna get it when I get my hands on him. Seem rather attached to that cat, Anders. It's more that he's rather attached to me. Isn't that right, the bouncer lot? 
Isn't that name a little ridiculous? What do you think I should call him? Frederick? There are worse names, I suppose. Is anywhere safe? Anywhere at all? It has begun. Smell that. That is the smell of freedom. It comes complete with the smell of dogs and dust. But the freedom is in there too. Oh, the fact that there are pies around to smell is a step up for me. I escaped from the tower seven times. Eventually, I'm sure they would have branded me a Malifica, true or not, and executed me. The problem is that mages are tolerated, barely. It's like you need permission to be alive. There's nothing a mage can do to prove himself. Everyone needs to be protected from you. The end. All things considered, I think I'd rather be a dwarf. Ugh. All I want is a pretty girl, a decent meal, and the right to shoot lightning at fools. See? I knew you understood. Never mind me. Now and again I recall that I'm not sitting in a cell and I have to smile, that's all. <laughs> 